Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, we're looking at stuff now. Is that the large photo lot I was talking about? Uh huh. Huh. It's nice and big, but you can't really see the faces any clearer, can you? Hmm. My mother. Now that I've shown her the picture, I'm not so sure it was the right thing to do. No, I'm pretty sure it was the wrong thing to do. Great job, Jerry. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Gordy, too! If he really exists. Well, I'd say a photograph is pretty good proof. Once the trial is over, let's get some fishing poles and go down to the lake. Even if there is a monster with that, like, fishing poles sound like a bad idea. Alright. That's everything we can do here. What? Aha! Oh, so this was... I was gonna say go to the, uh... The police department. There are fewer than were here yesterday, but the cops are still around the park. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe is here today. Now I can take a slight break. I don't have anyone else to speak as. <laughs> yep. Gord Lake, Public Beach. I haven't seen Larry around today at all. Probably off pan through the nose on a date with the lovely Kiance. Alright, we're gonna get something here. Oh yeah, the boat rental shop! Now we're getting somewhere. Looks like the boat rental shop is closed today too. Fuck! Okay, the beach. Not the beach, the, uh, the campsite. Hmm. Oh, Jesus! Hey, Detective oh. Gumshoe! Hey, pal! The trial today, it, uh... Yes? What about the trial? Well, I was gonna say good show, but it wasn't really all that. Though you did say Mr. Edgeworth, I guess. I just wasn't sure how to thank you, you know? Uh, thanks. Detective Gumshoe? Any idea what strategy Von Karma is planning for tomorrow? Sounds like he's bringing in another witness. Another witness? Oh, right. He said something about that in the trial today. That's oh, you, Jay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there were two witnesses. The one that you had canceled first. I was wondering who that other witness was. Uh, who was it? Sorry, pal. As much as I'd like to, I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. Right. Oh, right. I wanted to ask you something about Edgeworth. What's up? Is he afraid of earthquakes? I never heard anything about that before. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth doesn't talk about himself too much, see? But there's one thing that's clear as day. Him hating crime the way he does, and him becoming a prosecutor, and him being scared of earthquakes. It all started with that incident. The DL6 incident? Yep, that's the one. Fifteen years ago, he saw his father shot before his very eyes. He still feels the pain now. You can see it in his eyes. I wanted to talk to you about Maya Fey. Oh, huh? she's not out on bail yet? That's strange. I told him to let her go as soon as they had the report written up. Man, I don't know what would have happened in that courtroom today if it weren't for her. Seeing her getting dragged out by the bailiff? I'll be honest with you, pal. I shed a tear or two. Mr. Edgeworth, he was so moved, I saw his lip trembling. <laughs> really? Cold as ice, Edgeworth? He was really grateful for what she did, you know? I'm going to head back to the station. I'll get the report on Maya and get her out of there as soon as I can. Thank you. Oh, wait! Um, I was wondering, how much is Vale going to be? Don't worry about that. Mr. Edgeworth is posting the whole amount. What? Ed Edgeworth? Huh. Didn't I tell you? grateful to her for what she did. What? Does, does he have so access to his money? we don't have to, to pay money? a cent. <laughs> Alright, pal. Well, well, don't forget to go pick her up, okay? Huh. Maybe I can get Edgeworth to pay this month's rent, too. <laughs> 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 Fucking... Damn, dude. How grateful are you, Edgeworth? Uh, you are nice. Oh yeah, she did just leave it out here. <laughs> hmm. I don't think there's any point in examining around here. 
Except maybe that book. <laughs> Food and some magazines. Should we go try and pick up Maya, or should we go to the department? Let's go to the yeah, criminal affairs. December 26th, police department. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe's not here. Gumshoe's at the scene again today. Huh? Oh, really? He's the live wire, that one. Got into a fight with the chief for not following protocol. Not following protocol? I bet he wouldn't help them build the case against Edgeworth. Probably. Alright, so we are gonna go get Maya. Thanks, Edgeworth! Hey, Nick, you finally came. They just finished the paperwork. I'm free to go. Free at last, eh? Those interrogators are really mean. They were like, okay, what did you do this time? some kind of criminal. Can you believe it? Well, they let you out in the end, didn't they? Hmm. Well, that reminds me. Thanks for bail. Thank Edgeworth. Huh? He posted bail for you. Said he was grateful for what you did. Mr. Edgeworth did that? <laughs> I have to make it up to him. Now it makes more sense why they're at the con together. <laughs> we gotta win this case, Nick. Okay, so, what do you think we should do next? We're kind of liking in the clues department. We could go to the park and look for Gordy. No! I was kidding. Still, if there are any clues out there, the park's as good a bet as any. What do you say? Shall we head down there? Sure. Have we noticed anything lately? Hmm... You know, I did notice one thing while I was here in detention. It's really pretty comfortable here. It's warm and they keep it very clean. Huh. I meant, have you noticed anything about the case? Well, not much more than that, no. She's probably still upset about Mia. I should leave her alone. Alright, back to the park, I guess. There aren't many cops around today, are they? They're probably back at the precinct, working up the case against Edgeworth. Hmm. Hey, y'all! Hey, it's Lana! Y'all really did it today. What'd we do now? Nah, I'm not complaining. Tad their little thinking. A little. Self-reflection, you might say. I really thought being a witness is a mighty big responsibility. But I just went up there and started blabbing any old thing that came to mind. What a... So you see, I want to make it up to you. Make it up? What did you think of the trial? To be honest, I was doing it just... Half just to say I've been a witness. Even though I didn't really say anything. Kind of convinced myself I had, though. I'm sorry, I know it caused y'all a lot of trouble. Well, memory is tricky, vague little thing. Yeah, sure know that now. I'll be fine the next time a witness a murder. Um, no. Right. You mean the first time you witness a murder? What about Gordy? Right. Well, the way I figure the trial is only stroking the flames of Gordy fever. I got my exclusive photos and rocket started. Alright, Lada, you go, girl. I wish I could be an investigative photographer, too. Finish your spirit medium training first! Lada, what do you mean by making it up to us? Well, you see... I actually got the information for you. What? Avon and Karma didn't want me to say nothing about it. What information? Now we're getting to the heart of it. See, I reckon we might be able to do ourselves a little exchange. I exchange? Um, I thought this was to make it up to us. Right. I propose a little exchange to make it up to you. <sighs> what? 
Information don't come cheap, my friend. Uh, hey, I see you thinking my own sophisticated life. Spit all over your face. Let me tell you, the most southerners are way more sophisticated than you. I'm just the exception, okay? Uh. Oh, what'll it be? We got a deal or not? What do we do, Nick? <sighs> deal. Yeah. We don't have any other leads, so I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, how much? Huh? You completely off your rocker? I may not be sophisticated, but I'm not trying to rob you for. Hey! <laughs> huh? Only fair exchange for information is information. Well, listen good. I need from you is information about Gordy. Son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gordy? But Gordy doesn't. I mean, Gordy might not exist. And bring me proof that shows you don't. Uh. I'll keep in watch from the car, okay? See something, y'all come to me first. Got it? Okay. Right. See y'all later. Uh. Okay, Nick, let's get hunting. Hunting? You don't seriously mean. Gordy? I sure do. What about Edgeworth? We're searching for Gordy for him, Nick. Don't you get it? Okay, and how exactly do you search for a make-believe monster? Maybe we can find a monster myth specialist? Hmm. Larry. Oh, what the dear hell? God! It's gonna be Sal Manella, isn't it? What's that? The Steel Samurai, Nick. Yo, Maya! Larry, what the heck is that? Oh, it was my girl Keonsei's idea. She was all, if you, like, put this here, it'll be, like, really cool. Dude, she gave it to me along with the banner. Wow. That's real impressive. She could find those for you. Well, she knows a lot of people. And that show's finished now, so she got them for free. Is your girlfriend D. Vasquez... Under a fake name, Keonse the fiance. <laughs> Your fiance, Keonse. Oh my god. Yo, Nick! What happened with Edgy? Well, we made it through the first day in court, alright. I don't know how good our prospects are from here on, though. Huh. Hey, Larry, do you know Mr. Edward's secret weakness? He's terrified of earthquakes. He acts like a little boy. Huh? That's weird. I don't think it was ever like that in school. No? Really? Well, we were only in the same class for a little bit. He transferred to schools pretty quickly. Transferred? Right. When the DL6 incident happened. Doesn't look like Larry knows about it, though. Hey, Larry. When did you get that big... thing? Huh? Oh, this big guy? I've had that for about a month, yeah! It's a big hit with the kids! Why wasn't Why does he it look here so yet? nervous? Huh? Huh? Oh, right! Uh, the compressor was busted. Compressor? Compressor? Yeah, it's that little unit by my hot dog stand. That's what I used to put it in. Maybe that's that what the first bang break? was. If it broke down, maybe it had a bang. It broke a little while ago, so I sent it in for repairs. Oh. And here I thought you defeated it by yourself. Hmm. Sorry, Nick. Don't know much about that. I'm mere seller of hot dogs. That's the guy that sold my... What? Wait a minute. This guy that sold my hot dogs faster than I can cook them. Oh, you meant Gordy. I thought he meant the guy in the photo. Do you really think Gordy exists? Nah, I think somebody probably saw something else they just thought was Gordy. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth's out. Why was he sweating? <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be something you can respond to here. I don't know.
All right. Fuck. Hey, Lotta. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything out about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. I'll keep moving. It's cold out here at night time. It is a little chilly. I think I have to sneeze. Oh, no, you don't. No sneezing. <laughs> no! I told you, no sneezing. Seth said the camera respond to things a little softer than a bang. It triggered one of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Sharper than you thought it sounded. It was a finger snap. That's what it was. No, it was for a loud bang, Jay. And we found party poppers. Yeah, well, sorry is nice, but what about my film? Nick, pay the lady. What? Ugh. <laughs> Why does she have the camera set to take a thousand photos? Did she waste the entire roll? Yep, twice now. Learn something on today's trial, that's for sure. Let's find a serious business. So I decided not to talk about that case anymore. Huh? Whoa, didn't you say you had information about the case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the dirt on Gordy. <sighs> what are you going to do if Gordy doesn't exist? I'll quit being investigated photographer. What? After all, I only have one photo of my name so far. Was it a good one? You bet. A UFO. A uh, UFO? Anyway, if I can't get a career making photo this time around, then that's it. I'll quit and go back to school. So you really are a university student? Yeah, well, I'm taking a break for a bit. Right. Wait, what? Oh, that one's still just... All right. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Is there somebody at the boat rental, please? Oh, hey, baby. The dog is so quiet here. I wonder if the boat shop is closed for good. Well, with the murder on the lake and all, they're probably just taking a vacation until it blows over. I get it. You haven't been examining things as often. Doesn't look like anyone's around. They're probably closed. Some boats. Murder took place. Apparently the police took away the actual boat. Space for one more boat at the dock. Yeah, let's go back to there and examine. We got new things to examine here. What's this What's machine? This machine? It's a compressor. I use it to fill up that balloon there with air. Huh, neat. I just got it repaired yesterday. Man, what a drag that was. I'm trying to so fucking... broke down the day before that. I'm trying to channel fucking Shaggy. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it. Oh, God. Doesn't that steel samurai look a little out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Oh... Uh... Something about the steel samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True connoisseurs like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. Ah, yes. You and the 14-year-old child. These steel samurai fans are obviously in a league of their own. The banner? These flags look sadly out of place here. Flapping listlessly back and forth in a cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know, I think it gives the place a kind of festive atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the High Glasses. The what? The War of the what? Huh? What? You mean you don't know the War of the High Glasses? What the heck is it? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh, I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is it? <sighs> Trash? 
Trash can's empty, please stick to it. Can't get over the samurai dogs. The original samurai dogs know that. Hey man, whoever calls their product the original first wins. Why don't you add the word? Why don't you add world famous to the sign? Hey, good idea. What have I done? <laughs> all right, well that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.